into the bot lane. Yep, Diablo falling a bit low already. He has wow using that flicker red as well. Yep, the flicker already committed on the side of Diablo here, and he's going to be suffering a little bit in the EXP lane. Yo, yep, small wins, small wins. Uh, RSG does have the slight goal lead at the moment. I don't know whether the aim is going to be good or not. Though. Team Flash, the aim looks good here. Feels like it, but there's a reason why this, this assassin's not meta. RSG I mean, had to go the mile just to ban every single thing <laughs> Hades can play. Exactly. Well, it's not the hero, it's the player. As Ooh. evidently shown by Team Flash here, Hades making most of the heroes work for him. And Team Flash now gonna secure a little bit of gold lead on their end. It's all about this first big nice. play for both teams. Loads of damage traded by the marksman. For now, RSG can't tell who had the advantage for yet. It's too early. Yeah, but right now, Bray reaches level 4 right before Hades does add a split of a second and Hades is going to be having his level 4 there. Surprisingly, no Valentina though, even though it's wide open. Yeah. The Faramis is so free for Team Flash right now, so RSG has to fight through like how many layers just to get into the actual health HP of Team Flash. So... That wasn't mine, right? No, <laughs> definitely not. But I have to say, Flash has a nice little bit lead now. Small little wins, mini battles right here. But both are on edge. Both team are on edge. Definitely. On the side. Yep. Right now, the first major objective gonna be spawning. We will see who takes the lead of the game from this point. If Ray gets the snowball, that's it. Team Flash will falter. But if Team Flash gets that this first one, maybe there's a chance for Team Flash. Jay, oh, gets Shadow the Stampede. It's Paul, you not gonna come in as of yet. Both these two teams, the turtles up already for so long. Adamir is there, dragging attention. Yeah, but right now they're just trying to look for a little bit minute battles right here. They're just trying to push out the wave, and Bray has no information. Like, wait, where did Turtle go? And right now, Lolzy just trying to push up, but the Spear of Glory hooks onto Lolzy. Able to get right out of the dodge. Yeah, they don't want to overcommit that nope. King's Calling. It's important that it's used for a team fight instead. Not at all. Both these two teams don't really want to commit. Adamir knocking out. That's a taunt. Diablo committed to uh, King's Calling already. Nether Realm already committed. Hades takes the first turtle. It's nice start for Team Flash. Oh! The knock up by Lozy. Sayla getting caught. All of a sudden, just one instant, uh, really in a flash. It's two kills now. Close to 2,000 goalie for the side of Team Flash, and Team they're looking for more. Purifies burn just for that one. Lozi is on site, looking at Oki, staring him down. Exactly, and the endless shot from Hades is still up and available. Yep. You haven't used it at all. There we go. No matter where you go, Ooh. the shots will follow you. That's decent damage for now. It didn't even hit on Lucian Q, he hit onto the bug. A little small micro play here as well coming out from both sides, but the Ablo lane. Oh, go and have to commit the flicker. Another flicker committed so early on. Earlier just now, RSG was struggling because Diablo doesn't really have to flicker. And right now, RSG they are desperate to grasp at anything that appears in front of them. It's like a hungry little hungry animal right now. And RSG they have to play safe too. They can't overstep any sort of boundaries. But Lozzy. Yep. Up I mean, R RSG can make a snowball happen out of any kill as long as it goes on That's break. That's right. That's RSG. That's their MO. But how can they find this? Right now, Vanix has already secured onto his Hearts Claw. Hades already securing onto the <laughs> Genius Wand. Very interesting. I love that Genius Wand. He wants to go for that penetration on the magic as well. Yeah, I mean, it's just to make full use and full efficiency of his soul shots along with his slay shots, right? And all of this will stack up the damage before that final usage of the endless shots in their life. If the crossbow committed, Lozi looking for a pickup right there. Denies, decides to go against it. Jay around there. That's a ghost bursters. Ooh, RSG really smells this. They know it's a little bit too risky, right? Not throwing anything over to Team Flash. Small little micro plays like that from Adam here. Pulling one minion out of that wave is just gonna mess up that whole momentum and the timing of the minions as well. And as you can see, Adam here is gonna be pushing out onto Bray. Right here, Lozi, that's like Spear Glory. Hades focusing on the turtle right now. That's also Diablo getting stun lock right there. Hades assassinates that's amazing. right here. It's still gonna be Hades securing the turtle for now. One member for the side of RSG gone. Traded for Lozi.
Yep, they right. trade Lousy for that, and I think that's a big win for Flash right now. They extend the lead close to 3,000 gold. Oh, Manix? Animers will have free farm down bottom lane. Diablo will take some more time to grow into that crazy, crazy Minstertar. Yep, let's see how much they have benefited from this advantage that Hades has bought them. This is going to be the a genius one. Yeah, genius one on himself, but Haas Claws on this Bruno, he Jake. does have a bit more attack damage compared to this Eri. Right now, Bray, that's a lot of, that's the worldie going around. Oh, look at, look spreading at Spreading the damage all across the board. Look at Hades, he's stealing away the purple buff. Taking the purple buff away, Hades has done and maximized this distraction. Okay, that's a distraction happening up top. But Vertigo, I feel like we just need to focus what's going on right here on the map, right? RSG is focusing a lot on the top side for the side of Team Flash, making sure Vanix doesn't become Lord. Exactly. Yeah, of course. And, you know, this allows Jade to put so much damage out. His Ghostbuster is doing a lot of work for the team. Right now, Shadow Stampede, if he gets, uh, gets the catch, it could be huge for them. Not a lot of damage coming off Oki as of now. Sailor just shoving the lane in the mid lane. Lucian Cutie dragging Oki. Bray might get caught out. Bray on the other side of the map, though. You're A-OK -okay for now. Enemy is trying. Spear Glory! Oh! oh, it whiffs! Diablo, this is not how you want to play. Oh no, the nerves. Is it getting to Diablo? Yeah, can you feel it, though? It's pretty obvious from our end. Diablo is feeling the tension and the pressure as well. RSG. They need to be a bit more composed. Definitely. Right now, Team Flash does have the goal lead. This is not where RSG wants to be. Taunted by two, by Adamara, two members just buying so much time for the side of Team Flash to do whatever they want. This is a very different Adamara that we're looking it at is. here. Yep. He's the earlier parts of the series, he has always been chunked down, always been put face down on the floor by RSG. But right now, he's doing a 1v2 in his own lane. Diablo right there, that flicker, no more flicker once again into the solo fight. That could mean the difference, especially at this kind of level. Adamir. Oh, Adamir yet again just zoning out Bray and denying How? Bray of even walking into the turtle path. Adamir zones away two members of the side of RSG, delivers the turtle into the hands of Hades. Lozi coming in, he does have the flicker, catches onto Oki, doesn't even require circling Ego. No. The Guardian win yeah. pulls Oki back to safety. Oh, yeah, Diablo, man. it might be a hook there. Oh my goodness, he actually gets the killing spree, Hades. He has snowballed so much. 3 0 and 1 lousy. So Looking many things more. happening around the map. The cameraman cannot Bray. even catch up. Vanix, Bray at the same time in the mid lane. RSG, so puggy. Yep. Look at Anomir, he's just dominating the lane. He's just T-posing in front of RSG. 4.3k goal lead right now. And take a look at Hades, level 12 already. Two levels ahead of Bray. That's a big gap. Oki gonna join the fight. Oki, okay, Lucia Goody, catches on to Jay. That's just a way to save this. We are glory, one with once again. Vanix takes away mid lane turret. That's a big map opening. Oki dashes away. Ultimate committed to dodge. I praise his wrath. Hades, no, Lucia Goody! Oki takes the damage! Oh, Not the good microplay! So, still okay for now. RG, still okay for now. Yep, the microplay out of that endless shard coming in from the airman as well. A good microplay from Oki using that heavy crossbow to dash out of that endless shard and what not is this? taking any damage. What are we seeing, but uh, what are you seeing, Ken? RSG. Full, full map control here. Team Flash have the advantage. They have close to a 6k goal lead. It's really just about Adamir putting and letting his presence be known across the map. That's why RSG is having such a hard time because they can't even tickle Adamir at this point. It will be the same emblems that he has equipped for majority of the series as a Fredrin. And you can see, even with the itemization by Aki, he is not bothered. Everything falls on Adam and he's feeding so much information to Team Flash. And That's Team right. Flash are just basking in all of this lead that they have gotten for themselves. It is already level 14. Ray is struggling at level 11. Hades could most immediately delete anybody if he wants, if he has the items, that is. Especially yep. Lucian Cutie. Especially Lucian Cutie as well. Right now, Hades is just banking on the fact that he needs a couple more items at this point. Once they hit that 12-minute mark, Hades, let's take a look at what he has and what he still needs. The fight. Adamir? Main two right here. Ray gets knocked up. It's the Shura Rav coming in. Lozy flickers. A little bit distracted. Yep. Team Flash secures the Lord. No. 
There we go. I mean, take a look at the crowd here. Dairy all the way up front. And we do have Team Flash gaining that goal lead here. And all the way on the other side, as you can see on the cameras, we do see Team yeah. RSGSG. Of course, right here. You look at the crowd. Ray? Nobody's standing. Nobody. Everybody's on the edge of the seats. Um, cheering. They, they're just hanging on right now, RSG. And Definitely. they will only be hanging on once. They have this Feather of Heaven. Hades. Hades. Walks into Lucian Cutie. The damage is there, though. Those are looking for a catch. It's a circle eagle. Just to get out of there. Enemy gets Enemy the catch. That's a taunt. That's the ultimate. Oh! Come on! Lucian Cutie! Shred about the shards. Yup, and uh, that was the perfect distraction as well. It's gonna be a 5v4 right now, and they have the mid lane turret to crack open. RSG. They lost the fight. Yeah, right. And it's huge because right now, without Lucian Cutie, there is no relocation of the people with Guiding Wind. So RSG has to play extremely safe, which means the map is free for Flash. Uh, Flash is taking. And as they gladly oblige, they are going to clear what? all of the outer turrets on the side of RSG. The RSG championship mindset is gone. Team Flash took it away from them. Are we witnessing history in the making? Are we it looking at a new champion out of this best of seven series? Diablo secures that DHS. That's going to be a huge item for them. All he needs to do is to land a proper Spear of Glory. <laughs> we saw that. He hooked the yep. air. He will get it for now, but it's okay. It's just opening up the map. But 8k, 8.8k goal lead. It's nothing to scoff at, especially when Hades wow. secures a Divine Glaive already. Rest assured, that shard's going to hurt. He's already at full build. Oh, Bray's walking in the middle tree. With L3, indeed. Red Adamant looking for our angle. Oki no, um, on the other side of the wall. Yep, no way of the wind dragon. To pull him back. No way of the dragon here on the side of Lozzy as well. There's no one to catch out. And RSG, they have that information, but they do not have any info of where the members of Team Flash are. Starving for information. Adamant is opening up the map like a Giga Chad. Wow. Funk music activated here on the side of Adamir. On the Fredrin. Okay. At the very least, for the side of RSG, three purifies, one flicker for the side of Diablo. Photo already uh, secured by the side of Lucian Cutie. Team Flash, though, 10, almost nearing inching to 10k gold lead. Items, in terms of Lozi, there's room for error. There's some immortality as well. Yep, and uh, right now, Hades is going for that Feather of Heaven. Yep, he just needs that complete item, and he will be at full build already. Majority of the farm actually being funneled into Hades, and he's going to be the main win condition. So that's something that RSG needs to look out for. But more importantly, is the itemization by Adamir here. Adamir already has the Dom Eyes with the Garden Helm and a Silence Robe, so he's a very thick boy. Now, the difficulty of having this Frederick M. Uh, Adamir is the fact that they have three puries. You do not want to burn a purify just because of an energy eruption. Yep. That's what Adamir is trying to achieve at this point. Trying yep. to burn away Lozy. the purify. There you go. Surely. That's the Lord secured by Team Flash. Aki, though, just trying to push up onto the top lane. Take a look at Flash. They're just going to be rotating up into the map and just trying to deny Aki here. And Adamir. It's so tough to watch this, ladies yep. and gents. It's, it's so, so tough, tough to watch this. RSG is so scared. Fed of Heaven has been secured by Hades. This is going to be a monumental power spike on wow. this Amon. And if Flash get their way with this Lord, it is going to be a barren base. Or even a game. Or even a game, yes, right. I mean, it all boils down to the team fight and execution as well. But Team Flash, they have to be playing this discipline game. There's no fight left on the side of RSG. Getting squeezed all the way up the Lord. Marching down in the mid, Adamir clearing up top. Another yeah. wave down bot, Lozi just threatening. Ooh. Spear of Glory doesn't land. The Lord will clash. Hades clashing bot. Adamir, oh. Magnus clashing wow. top. Diablo, the damage is there. The King's calling ignored. Bray trying to hunt it down. The main damage is up top. The main destruction is Lucian. Lucian. Lucian is down. Dead. Phoenix just shredding top side. Bottom side looking weak as well. Team Flash going at a slow and decisive push. Oh, the light is deeming. The light is slowly fading. Okay. They're coming out. They're not crashing. They're going for the Team Flash. Team Flash. There we go. They are your F5 representative. They came from behind. Let me remind you, they were 2 0 down at the start of the night. Team Flash, it looked like they had no direction. They didn't know what to do.